Hey guys, James here from TCG University, come back at you with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be showing you my Twinkle Murdoch deck that I played during the campus championship. Uh, so uh, let's get into it guys. Okay guys, Twinkle Murdoch is a 626 with Evil, Void, and Water. She has three abilities and one static. Her static is you're not allowed to play safe attacks, so there's going to be no safe attacks in my deck. Uh, and sh so the static kind of prevents her from playing cool things at the time. Dragon Flare was a big card. Uh, she's a moment. She gives your opponent momentum and uh, Dragon Flare says burn your opponent for every one of their momentum and whatnot. So uh, making sure that she doesn't just get to just destroy opponents using Dragon Flare. They kind of prevented that kind of uh, still a couple decks I ran around with it. But our deck is also built around just giving our opponent as much momentum as possible. Uh, through her ability of E commit, your opponent adds the top two cards of their deck to their momentum. Uh, it's really strong. Gives a for what for the way we play our deck. It's really strong. Uh, her other ability is E. Your attack gets plus one plus one for every two of your opponent's momentum. Uh, so basically, she gives this one on like your opponent's turn, and then on your turn, you go plus one plus ones to everything, which is super sick. Uh, my deck is built to try and get as much momentum as possible as fast as possible. We're talking four fours by turn two, basically. By turn three, it's 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 really what it's supposed to do, and then she has a cool R once per game. Reveal your hand after your opponent plays an ability on a non-character card, cancel its effects. Super strong gives you the ability to uh, negate anything that could stop you from killing your opponent, or negate anything that could that stops your opponent from killing you. It's just really really good effect, and is the reason she is a two dot now. It's this is her routed form. Uh, she was stronger. Uh, they did not build her stronger. She came back weaker. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's get into the profile. We're playing three of one of her original cards, Distraction Destruction. It's a 5-1, 4 low for 8 with a 0 low block. Uh, it has tech. It's the only keyword on this card. It's one of the only cards that doesn't really mesh with the deck a little bit. But it does her abilities very well. First E, if your opponent has two or more momentum, they must add two foundations from their staging area to their momentum. Super strong ability. It debuilds your opponent. Give them four momentum at that point. This will get two two if you've already, if you've used Twinkle Murdoch the turn before, making this a six for ten, which is just crazy. And then uh, the cool other ability that uh, you'll almost use, hopefully never have to like see or get played against you, is E. If your opponent has eight or more momentum, you win the game. It's a win con, guys. Uh, so like I said, the deck's trying to build as fast as possible. If this is the way it wins, we're cool with that. If not, this this is still just a super strong card. It's a four low for eight. It's crazy. Uh, next, we're playing four Scratch Glacinda. It's a four three four low for four Fury Kick Reversal Combo Weapon. It combos with a weapon. I believe the rest of our attacks are weapons, right? Uh, yeah, all of our attacks are weapons after this. Just not Distraction Destruction. Uh, combo E Destroy one Foundation. Your opponent adds one Foundation to their momentum. So basically you one for one your opponent getting rid of another momentum or another face down to then give them momentum, which is super strong, especially in the deck we're trying to play. And then you're also, if you do play as reversal, get to use Twinkle Murdoch's plus plus plus, which is also crazy. Uh, then E, add one of your opponent's momentum to their card pool face down. Uh, this adds difficulty to your opponent's turn. Basically breaker ones them for the rest of the turn. Super strong card, gives our opponent momentum, S leads into everything else we're about to play. Leads into Bleak Concerto Finale. It is a 5-2, 4 mid for 6, 1 mid block. Fury weapon, combo with the Fury. Uh, there's only two Furies in our deck, this one and another one I'll show you later. Uh, e, your opponent discards their entire momentum and loses one vitality for each momentum discard this way. Like I said, we're trying to dump momentum into our... We're trying to give our opponent as much momentum as possible. And one of the ways we uh, punish them for giving them momentum as a gift, uh, we kind of Trojan horse them, really. We give them momentum just to blow them up. Uh, we burn them with uh, we burn them a lot with uh, Bleak Concerto. Uh, Bleak Concerto's other ability is combo E. Your opponent adds the top two cards of their deck to their momentum. This attack gets plus X plus X. X equals your opponent's momentum. One of the things you can do is, like, if your opponent already has the two... Like if this is so like if this ends up being like the third card you play. So like you play one, you play this is the second one, give them four. Uh, play this, give them five, six. Uh, give yourself plus three, plus three, making this a seven, nine. Committing this, give them two more. Uh, then dumping it so they'll lose eight life. Uh, and then uh, actually uh, give the, get the two 
And then before you dump it, give yourself, um, it'll be two, four, six, right? Yeah. So this gets plus uh, six off of this, making it a 10 for 12 plus a three, three here. Uh, two, four, six, yeah, six, uh, plus the four here. So from a 10, 12 into a uh, 13, 15, and then we go uh, give yourself two momentum, making it eight momentum, burn them for eight, just eight, then like 12 for 13, is just, or 12 for 15 is just crazy, super nuts. Um, so, yep, yeah, uh, this combos with this and like I said, a card, a card I'll show you later. Uh, but a four mid for six that just burns our opponent for their momentum and gets plus X plus X equal to their momentum is crazy good. Be looking for a tier to do some crazy things with that. Uh, so we're trying to dump momentum as fast as possible. We're trying to Trojan horse our opponent, basically. Like I said, so for his gift of immortal blood, it's a two five with a three low block. Uh, we mainly play for the ability E commit add one card from your opponent's discard pile to your, their momentum. Uh, this this ability right here does one of two things. Either you get rid of cards you won't have to see later, like you dump their missile launchers to where you know their missile launchers aren't going to be picked up. You know their nutcrackers aren't going to be picked up. Cherry toes. You get rid of all their good stuff to where they don't have to see it. And then, like, when they cycle, there's no way they for them to draw those exact cards you put there without trying to get rid of it already. And then the other thing we can do is um, stuff it for, obviously, our own abilities. The other ability on the card is E, discard momentum. This attack is negative 5 speed. Only playable if your opponent has at least one momentum. So you discard momentum to make give your opponent minus five speed, which is crazy good. It's also playable while committed. Has a three low block on its own. It's just crazy strong. Uh, we're playing four, my beautiful child. Uh, my beautiful child has uh, two responsibilities inside this build. One, it gives us moment, gives our opponent momentum for our ability, and two, it kind of just gets rid of problem cards. Uh, the ability is R remove after your opponent plays a foundation card. Add it to the momentum. This card works really well if our opponent has things we don't want to have to deal with. Like uh, one of the things that stops distraction and destruction is like ages wise. Cards can't leave their discard. Uh, cards can't leave their uh, uh, staging area. Well, if they attempt to build their ages and wise, we just add it to their momentum, and then we just don't have to deal with it. Super cool card. Um, gets a little uh, underrated in my opinion. Has a lot of cool counters. It does has. It counters a lot of cool things in the meta right now, and doesn't see enough play. Uh, two, save the sea rats. It's a two, five, the three high block unique. E, your turn, flip. If your opponent has at least one momentum, they must add one card from their hand to their momentum. Uh, this card basically discards one card from our opponent's hand, but instead of discarding it, puts in our momentum and does what we want. Uh, just super loads their momentum for discarding a card from their hand. Super neat. <laughs> Ripping a card from your opponent's hand is super nuts, especially when you're just going to... Bleak Concerto, give it a bunch of damage type of style. Like, it's it's stupid how good the card is. Just all for the cost of your turn flip. Super worth it. Uh, next, we're playing four on Met Demands. It's a 1-4 with a 5 a low block. You'll never play it. Never. Uh, e, destroy. Your opponent adds one foundation from their staging area to their, car to their momentum. Again, like I said, we're just trying to momentum generate for our opponent as fast as possible. And then Deadlock E, if you ever get there. Commit. Add one foundation of your choice to your opponent's from your opponent's staging area to the momentum. So basically, if they're not a deadlock, they choose. If they are a deadlock, you choose. Uh, super strong card. Of has no basically has no block. Being a five low and uh, checks pretty bad, but does what we need it to when we want it to. You know. And then the last card that uh, directly supports our stuff. Um, to like the game plan of Bleak Concerto, is Jolly, uh, Jolly Gloomy. Uh, has two abilities. E commit. Your opponent adds the top card of their deck to their momentum. Super good. Does what we want. And then sometimes uh, our opponent having a bunch of momentum is actually bad for us. So the other ability of E destroy your opponent discards momentum. Play while committed is exactly what we need. Uh, please don't kill me with your uh, with your missile launcher. Please don't powerful three this or multiple that. Just please don't. I don't want to deal with it. So uh, gives us a little leeway on how we play our deck. Uh, on to the cards that don't directly support it, but function really well with our deck. Uh, for Virus Unchained. Virus Unchained came out with the original Twinkle, Twinkle Murdoch. It's a 3-3, three, three, zero mid block for three damage. Uh, it's a zero high block with Breaker 2 tech weapon. Again, has weapons, so it functions with our other stuff. 
while this card is in our card pool, all of our other attacks gain the following enhance ability. So everything because of this static will gain the enhance other than itself. Uh, e, your attack gets plus one damage for each of your opponent's momentum. Meaning for everything we stuff in our opponent's momentum, this card just pumps everything. And uh, when I mean it pumps it, uh, having plus seven damage on everything is super crazy. Especially when you're still able to give like plus three, plus three with this. If you build your opponent up enough and then like get this, it's just like an, a super overload. Uh, this this card really brings out the whole Trojan horse thing, you know? And the Breaker 2 is nothing to laugh about either for free, basically. Uh, then the uh, her one of uh, Tyr's other cards, her other rare attack. It's a 4-3, 5 high for 3. Snare Boulder Crush. It's a Fury, powerful 3 weapon combo with a Fury. Combos with half of our other attack lineup. Uh, combo E, you may, uh, sorry, you may discard, there's a slight glare for me, you may discard cards from your opponent's momentum in addition to your momentum to pay the, to pay for this attack's powerful ability. Um, I want to make sure I read that correctly for you guys. Um, a two mid block's really good too. Um, this is a lot like, uh, Coco or, uh, the, uh, uh, the powerful attack from Akuma's support where instead of using the stuff you force yourself into your card pool. You use all of the stuff your opponent's been building with. I'll give you all this momentum. You added some of your own momentum. I'm going to just dump it all. Dump it all. Uh, just, just the ability to just force stuff your entire opponent's momentum. Give this stats and then go, cool, I'll dump it. Like if your opponent has six momentum because of Twinkle, you can go ahead and give this plus three, plus three, making an eight for six. And then dump all three of all six of that momentum for powerful three. Giving it another 18 damage, making this a 8 for 24. All because you built your opponent for two turns on the, the ability. It's super crazy. Uh, half of our deck is combo attack, so we're playing 3 yin and yang. It's a 2-5 that says R remove. After you play a combo ability, or I mean a combo attack, you can add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their card pool. Kind of like a sort of a breaker thing on reversal when you, if we play our one reversal. Or just to kind of stuff our opponent to make sure they can't block our attacks on offense. And then R remove after you block this card. Add one combo attack from your discard pile to your hand, which leads to us picking up like snare boulder crush or uh, picking up, where is it? Bleak Concerto. Uh, super good super good card that just allows us to uh, plan for the, our next turn. Uh, we're playing two. A San Dressel. Uh, it's a 1-5-0 low block. Breaker 1 unique weapon. Or lose 1 vitality. After you play a combo ability, your, your attack gets plus 2 speed. If you're a desperation, draw a card. And then desperation E. Commit if this attack... Add this attack to its uh, owner's momentum. Only playable if your opponent has one or more momentum. Which me just means uh, if your opponent has momentum, you kind of just get to abort an attack every turn. Which is super nuts. Uh, but you do have to be a desperation, which for us is 12. Uh, 12 is not a whole lot, but it's more than like uh, Tira is, which is a 7 hander. She has to be at 9. But uh, just being able to uh, kind of uh, dictate which attacks you want to have to deal with. It's very good, especially when uh, we try to just overload on offense and we kind of just have to sit back and chill on defense. Uh, we're playing one of Sun's Love. Uh, this card is a weird interaction with the way she works. Uh, you can make things lose safe. That The bottom ability never mattered for us. It's a 3-5 of the no block. Uh, but we mainly like the first form, which is commit, draw a card. Your opponent may add the top card of their deck to their momentum. If they do, draw another card. So basically, you become a 700 for free, and your opponent will almost never get a momentum because your deck works off of them having momentum. So you basically get to draw one card for free, and then if they happen to give the, if they happen to take that momentum, and you get to draw another card, you're an eight hander on a turn where you gave them momentum, which means you can just give them more momentum, and just get to go off. It's crazy, nuts, and it's just really odd, basically. Two God of Thunder. Um, we're playing ones and twos, and we check really bad sometimes. So uh, having the ability to ready things is very needed in our deck. Uh, there should be Proud Nose in here. If there's not, there should have been. I didn't see it when I was looking through there. So there's no Proud Nose. Definitely should have been. I should have thought about that ahead of time. But um, being able to make sure we don't just auto lose by checking bad is really, really what we want to need in our deck. Uh, three Honky Tonk Woman. 
like I said, we're trying to max out as fast as we can onto uh, debuilding our opponent. So having Honky Tonk is really good because anytime, anytime we have it and we can just drop a card in that adds cards to our uh, opponent's momentum, it's really good, especially on defense or especially on our opponent's turn. Because we build this on our turn, it sits in our staging area. We play cards and then anytime we see one, just add it in. Uh, add it in. And then on our turn, we get to use it and go off. Like it just creates some really cool scenarios too. For Malfestation. Malfestation, uh, we're really playing it for the good 1-6 one, one to high block. Uh, after it's committed due to a stun ability, it commits one of our opponent's foundations. Or if we commit it due to one of our costs, we don't... I don't think we have many costs we have to worry about. Uh, it's mainly in here just to make sure our opponent doesn't want to stun us. Uh, or if they do, we slow them down. Uh, the idea is just to live long enough we get to do our cool combos instead of our opponent. Uh, two, Syndicate Target. Syndicate Target gets to block uh, Missile Launcher, Cherry Tone, and stuff like that very well. And uh, it's a 0 6, so if we really need to, we check sixes. And it's a spam when uh, we build because uh, we play ones and twos, my dudes. Uh, three, Dreaming of Becoming Whole. Uh, same thing. We play ones and two, so having a zero, five is really good. Has a three mid block if we really need it. Has the ability to give us more, uh, it raise itself and gives plus to a check, which is super good, especially if we check bad or if we think we're going to check bad, especially because we're playing the ones and twos. And then the last card in our deck is Pure Fart. Pure Fart's a zero, five, three high block. Uh, has a stack that says if it's discard due to our opponent's effect, we add two of their foundations to their card pool, which is cool. We're mainly playing it as the first D commit. We get to choose one of our opponent's assets or foundations. They cannot play abilities on that card until after this attack resolves. Uh, it's super strong. It kind of prevents our opponent from playing cards that would stop our turn or would uh, stop our cool card abilities that we're trying to get off. Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. Uh, remember to tell me what you guys think about the My Twinkle Murdoch deck down below. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, stay alert.